welcome all as we have initiated the third unit of this subject we are discussing about the mobile ip our today's topic is tunneling the third phase of the mobile ip so let us start with it infrastructure based wireless lan so let us start with it okay our today's topic is the third phase of the mobile ip that is tunneling we have seen about the agent discovery where agent discovers agent advertisement happen and uh, agent get discovered by the mobile network mo sorry mobile node and in second phase we have discussed about registration phase how mobile node register himself into the foreign agent and uh, home agent and in third phase now we are moving uh, now we are discussing about the tunneling that is the final phase of the mobile app and it is the most important phase here routing the packets to the mobile node is happen actually the information get transferred to the mobile node look mobile node is having the ip address belonging to the home ne home network but currently mobile node is present in the another network that is foreign network so obviously the information will receive at the home network and that information need to be transferred or forwarded to the forward to the mobile node which is present in the another network so there will be a tunnel established in between home network and foreign network two addresses will be there a home address one is the home address that address is the original ip address of that no mobile node which will be the combination of home network address and that host address and second address is the care of address now this address is the temporary address given to that mobile node by using this care of address uh, the actual physical location of the mobile node will be received okay so information will be trans transferred to that actual physical location by using this care of address this address will be the end of the tunnel tunneling also we can also call it as a routing because information is root get routed up to the original mobile node it is also called as encapsulation because it is uh, some uh, some mechanism will be happen here where encapsulation is used and finally it is also called as tunneling this procedure consists of delivery of the packets to the mobile node and its current care of address in tunneling this procedure in which the packets is delivered to the mobile node respective mobile node by using its current care of address okay so tunneling is nothing but the mechanism in which information or packets is uh, delivered to the mobile node by using its care of address is called as tunneling tunneling establishes a virtual pipe for the data packets and bit and data packets between a tunnel entry and tunnel endpoint tunnel means what it we can say it is a virtual pipe it is not a actual pipe it is it will not be a physical medium in between home network and foreign network it is a virtual pipe it will be act as a pipe in between the tunnel entry and tunnel end tunnel entry will be at the home agent and tunnel end will be at the foreign agent okay packets entering a tunnel are forwarded inside and leave the tunnel unchanged whatever the packets are received at the home agent home agent will process that packets and forward that packet to the foreign agent now this processing is also called as tunneling that's why it is called as packets enter into the tunnel and forwarded inside it and leave the tunnel unchanged because if we change the direction of the tunnel or if we uh, change something in the tunnel that message will may get routed to another destination that's why it said that leave tunnel unchanged sending packets through tunnel is achieved by encapsulation this is the most important concept encapsulation whatever the packets are getting sent by using tunnel this is done by using encapsulation encapsulation is the procedure we have discussed in computer network encapsulation is a mechanism of taking packets taking a new packets which will consist a packet header and a data okay a new packet which will consist a packet header and data and putting it into the data of putting it into the data part of the another packet look what i'm saying is you can see here in the diagram 
one packet p is there you can see the diagram in the on the upper right corner in red color look one packet p is there which is consisting of header and data okay that packet is embedded inside the another packet another packet which is consisting of header and data and this previous p packet is inserted into the data field of the other packet you can see there no and this procedure is called as encapsulation and what will be the decapsulation in decapsulation we will take out the packet p from the this original packet okay that over, over, um, cover packet now this cover packet will have another ip address and our packet p will have another ip address okay now this cover packet will have the ip address now we are discussing that ip address is called is as a care of address okay it means what that information that packet will be routed up to the destination address provided in the header field of the cover packet so it is the encapsulation and decapsulation encapsulation and decapsulation we have discussed is the reverse operation of the take uh, reverse operation in which taking a packet out of the data part of the another packet is called as decapsulation we have discussed this encapsulation and decapsulation are performed when the packet transferred from the higher protocol layer to the lower protocol layer or vice versa when the information or packet is transferred from uh, data link layer to network layer or network layer to the transport layer or transport layer to the network layer or network layer to the data link layer or data link layer to the physical layer or physical layer to the data link layer when the information is transferred to the higher layer from the lower layer or lower layer from the higher layer encapsulation and decapsulation get performed okay and this is called as tunneling tunneling nothing tunneling is nothing uh, the physical media is established in between foreign agent and home agent tunneling is just uh, doing encapsulation over the original packets and that uh, new packet in which the original packet is embedded that original new packet will have the care of address and this packet will reach up to the foreign agent and if here decapsulation will perform and original packet will be transferred to the foreign agent okay this is the mechanism of tunneling this is the last phase of the mobile ip thank you